Yo, yo, what's up guys? So in this video, we're going to talk about how to make money selling stickers on Redbubble. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. Yo, what's up? So um, selling stickers on Redbubble. Okay. Uh, when it comes to selling stickers on Redbubble, one of the most important things, I think step number one, what is the, like, you want to figure out you want to research, right? What do people want when it comes to a sticker? Okay. So this can be research on Redbubble itself. Um, I, I recommend you whatever platform you're on. Okay. Researching that niche, that product, whatever the heck it is, figuring out what is going on. And you can see right now we're in here in incognito mode, right? So step one, I would recommend you first things first, you want to research, right? What is selling on Redbubble as far as stickers? What do people want? Okay. Um, so what we're going to do, you can see right here too, stickers, all stickers, car stickers, helmet stickers, hydro flask stickers, laptop stickers. I think of what, you know what I mean? When I think of stickers, I think of laptop stickers, stickers that go on cars, right? We're going to click all stickers, click stickers in general. Okay. Pop that up. And your goal is here. Okay. We'll come over here. See, we have 102. 100, over 102, 102 results with stickers alone, right? You can see what's going on. Um, support your local street cats, <laughs> okay? And this is important, guys, because you look over here, looking at stickers, you see the price, $1.56 to $1.56, from $1.56, $1.39, you're looking at the price points and all these stuff. And that's also, that's really important too when it comes to research, right? I get the, one of the biggest questions I get is what should I price my stickers at, RJ? What should I, where, where should I price my stickers at? And I was just like, like, it depends. Like it's a depends question, right? Okay. There's no really, of course you want, you know, the goal is to sell a lot, right? You want to sell a lot of stickers, but then what if you sell two or three or four at a really good profit every single day, then it makes up for that, right? But also, too, there's some arguments to be made, right? What if you have it at a lower price and you're consistently ranking in the algorithm and consistently getting sales for that certain, uh, the keyword or the tag, right? Um, there's some points to be made. Yes, there is, okay? There's no really, no wrong, there's no right or wrong answer. It's all about testing, right? What works better for you as an individual? What works for you, okay? The person that's watching this video, you want to test and figure out what works for you. Okay, so as far as stickers we're looking at, we're looking at what's going on. Um, let's come over here to this right-hand side. Let's click on trending, okay? Let's see what's going on. You want to learn this one. Let's see what's going on. Can you make any of these designs, these stickers? Some of the st stickers um, that I have sold are really simple illustrations, right? You can see, like, this one doesn't have no face at all. And then su subscribe or don't, thanks, okay? Um, this is pretty cool. Like, look at like weird stuff like this seems to do pretty well, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go back up. Uh, let's click on best selling. Okay, let's check it out. See what's going on. Um, let's open up a few of these bad boys too as well. Hold on, I see a dog. Dope. Cool, cool, cool. Um, the feature is female. Okay. Um, now, yeah, yeah, we're researching. You seen like, okay, cool stuff. Like, like, it seems like the stickers, like, telling a story, right? When I'm looking at some of these stickers, also, too, you want to check for trademarks or copyright laws, all that stuff. You want to make sure you're uh, in the in the safe zone, right? You don't want to get in trouble. Someone sending you an email, like, hey, I own the rights to that. Take that design off. That saying or whatever it is, okay? So you want to make sure you're in the clear with that, guys, making sure that you're not doing anything wrong at all. So we opened up this. And your goal is, too, as well, you want to figure out how people are – are searching for products, right? Um, by looking, you can see that it's a title. Okay, you know, search for the sizing. You want to search for the pricing, right? So if they have a certain size, as you as a customer looking in, right, you want to figure out, okay, this for the, how much are they charging? What are the price points at, right? You can see seven twenty five for a medium sticker, right? Um, let's go down. Let's see what's going on with their tags, sticker tags, right? Look at this. Look at their tags. Okay. Um, and first and foremost, I can see like a Nicki Minaj music stickers. Okay, you want to make sure that's okay if you're using a a certain tag like that, right? You want to double check and make sure the policies and making sure it's okay for you to use a certain keyword like that too as well. Um, all product tags, you can see that too as well. You can see what's going on here. So now that we're com coming in here and researching and diving in, 
and figuring out what is going on in here. I think that's really cool because we're seeing something, right? We're researching it. We know what's going on. We have a better understanding of the niche. That's important, okay? Like I'm saying, learn what's going on. Like learn the niche, how, what stickers are selling, what tags are they using, right? And now, yeah, let's go down to this one, see what's going on, see their price point, check their price point, see what's going on, right? Scroll down, right? Sticker tags, you can see everything that's going on here, okay? You're learning the niche, learn every single thing. Can you make a sticker, right? Your, your goal is to think about next, okay? Can you make a sticker in this niche that's gonna dominate, right? Something to come up with your own idea, and that's important too. Coming up with your own idea, guys, don't copy none of this work, by the way. If you guys are coming up with your own idea, you're gonna make more money over time because it's like your own unique idea, right? And you're creating less competition, competition competition for yourself so that's really big All right. okay so step step number two was spying on competitors tags right okay um that's one of the most important things because when it comes to spying on people's tags all right i kind of went over this a little bit already but i think spying on tags is one of the most important things because when it comes to spying on tags i cannot repeat myself any any more on this it's like it's spying on tags you come up with new ideas you see what's going on in this niche you can learn a lot from tags, guys. Okay, um, spying spying on the tags is it's it's fun because you learn about new ideas and and uh, what niches you can dive into, what people are searching for. Okay, tags help you rank on Redbubble. Now, there is a little thread on there too as well on Redbubble. They say um, if I can find it, I'll put it down below in the description down below. But do not like keyword stuff your tags. They say to keep it between like seven to ten tags per listing per item, like per product. Okay, um, and I think that's it, that that does like with the with Redbubble, they don't want you coming over here and spamming their whole catalog, right? So that's something to think about too as well. Okay, so if you're gonna be making products for um, Redbubble or stickers for Redbubble, you do not want to spam, okay, with all kinds of tags that not that don't relate to your product, okay? And that return because basically what's gonna happen is not you're not gonna rank really well in the algorithm, and in return you won't get that many sales. So you want to keep you want to keep in mind that. When you're listing on Redbubble, you do not want to spam and put a hundred tags to one listing because it won't make sense, right? And you don't, you don't, you don't want it. You don't want to tell the algorithm like this product doesn't belong to this, um, this this tag doesn't belong to this product because in return the algorithm's like, okay, cool. Then we'll push it down to the very bottom, and the next thing you know, they see another tag that doesn't make sense to your product, and it's going to keep pushing it down the algorithm. It's not going to look good, okay? You're hurting yourself more than anything. So, something to keep in mind. Let's head over to the next step. All right, guys. So, step number three. Um, so, now that you have your your, your sticker, your, your illustration, um, design, artwork, whatever the heck you want to call it, right? You have it over here, uploaded over on Redbubble. Um, you scroll down, right? And the product is going to be right here under stickers. See it? Okay. Um, see? You can see. Looks clean. Um, that right there. You want to make sure that's enabled, right? You have it enabled. So that's what it looks like over here when you upload it. Once you have it uploaded, that's what it looks like over here, um, over here under the stickers. And you want to make sure it's enabled over here when you upload uh, your first piece of artwork for stickers, right? So selling the stickers over here. Um, very simple. Um, this is the upload inter interface when you upload uh, your new work, right? And you can see title, tags, description. Um, how we research the tags you guys see how people put tags in right uh, once you get better at that and learning that it's going to be like a in a way it's going to be like a competition with yourself because you want to get better at that um, learning how to do the tags is going to help you make more sales help you get in front of people okay um, as far as like the search terms and stuff like that how people are finding your products um, you want something that you want to test right there okay um, learning because learning like if someone says like they know something about an algorithm, like they know the algorithm, it's kind of like they always switch up the algorithm on every single platform. So it, getting the best results is in order for you to do that, it's all about testing. So very important that you guys understand that, that your description. But yeah, over here, selling stickers, you want to make sure it's enabled over here. And then you scroll down and you can see that they added new products too as well. Um, add them in your collection if you want, and then uh, is this mature content? No. Can you view this work? Anybody public? Right. 
Um, then I have the rights to sell this product containing this artwork. Click check that and press save work. And yeah, okay. So I just want to show you that, kind of give you guys the brief uh, description of what it looks like when you're uploading your your illustration, your artwork, whatever the heck it, is, whatever the heck you want to call it. That's what it looks like right there. So let's continue over to the next step. All right, guys. So uh, step number four: when you guys have your products um, listed and they're live what should you price them at, right? And I think that's a big question. What, that's a big question that I get asked a lot of time. How do you price your products on Redbubble? Okay, it's all about it's all about testing, guys. Uh, when it comes to uploading to Redbubble, you wanna test, okay? Test, test, test. As you guys can see right here, I have um, my stickers, right? All the stickers right here, you can see the whole column at 200%. Okay, I've been selling them consistently at 200%, okay? Um, uh, like, first I started off at 30%, 20%. 25 percent let's see this one right here is that 20 let's switch this over 55 percent okay um okay you you can see that when it comes to selling stickers on Redbubble, it's like if you sold something at 30 percent, you know that the profit margin is really low and you're like dang i'm only getting 30 cents for this sticker right and you can mess with this too as well you know it'll tell you your profit margin so let's say you put it at 100 percent, right enter it goes there right you can see your margins right now let's say you put it at oh let's say you put it at 30 percent 30 percent apply right and you now you can see your margin now and you can see it's getting lower and lower scroll back down you can see that it's getting lower and lower and lower right and you're like dang <laughs> so i've been messing around with this and it's all a test guys you can't i'm not going to tell you you should price your stickers at this okay um, when it comes down to pricing your stickers and and getting the margin you want if you're okay with 62 cents you'll be okay with making 62 cents that's okay on that's that's all up to you that's cool um, if you want to do a hundred percent do a hundred percent right that's all on you like this when it comes down to this the pricing it's all about testing okay I'm a big fan about that when if you're testing something test it right if it works for you it works for you okay e each individual is different okay I believe that when it comes to artwork and illustrations and all that stuff your design okay there's no one size fits all when it comes to pricing it's up to you okay um you may you may you may not believe in my 200 percent price mark right or my 200 percent increase right percentage whatever you want to call it my markup um that's that's totally fine um but i believe in testing okay test at 30 test at 50 test at 60 test test at 100 percent test at 200 percent 300%, 400%, test, 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 okay? Uh, until you, you start, you know, all of a sudden you see that you see a de decrease in sales and you're not making sales anymore. That means bring your prices down, right? Bring your markup down, your percentage on your markup down a little bit. So yeah, um, yeah, I think that's that's very, very, very important when it comes down to this. So um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the step number four. And if you guys check out my other videos right here, right here, Redbubble, check out my other videos right here, okay? Check those videos out. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Hopefully this video helped you too.